Hello everyone, James Beck, also known as James Speed one on Pokemon and NuggetBridge.com And today I'm going to bring you a new series, it's a Pokemon team analysis And the team I'll be analyzing is the one that got me to the first place of the U of the Pokemon Battle Spot Special X and Y uh, season three for since two slash twenty eight slash two thousand fourteen one thirty p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and as you can see, here I am. I had forty eight wins, twenty two losses, and zero tied. And here is the team. I'll start with Tyranitar. This was the core of the team because I really like Dragon Dance Tyranitar. A lot of people go for special, but I was happy with Dragon Dance. And a lot of my Pokemon are actually standard spreads. And standard spreads are actually good because the synergy of this team is really awesome. Like, I can pair anyone with anyone. Okay, Tyranitar. Weakness policy. Imagine a plus 3 Tyranitar with uh, plus 1 speed. That's scary. Knockout. Mega Kangaskhan and outspeeds it. And yeah. Ability Sandstream to get rid of weather. Since there are a lot of Mega Charizards out there. Uh, the moves Rock Slide, Crunch, Dragon Dance, and Protect. Standard Tyranitar with Jolly Nature, 4 HP, 252, and 252 speed. Tyranitar, he really did well. The reason I chose him was for countering Mega Charizard, Talonflame, and mostly it was Edgy Slash. I'm really not a fan of Edgy Slash while playing against it. I like using him, but. I just had so much of a hard time dealing with him. Tyranitar did a good job though. Next is Talonflame with Choice Band and the ability of Gale Wings. Choice Band, Brave for Talonflame, very scary priority. It's going to KO a lot of things. With Brave Bird, Flare Blitz, U Turn, Will O Wisp, again, another standard Pokemon. 4 HP, 252 attack EVs, and 252 speed item in nature. I probably went for choice band because I really like the damage it gives. I wasn't a fan of life orb because it just made Talonflame get killed faster. And U-turn allowed me to switch to a bulkier Pokemon to take hits. will o -Wisp was for support since um well my team is in that big on the fence so yeah and he really helped me a lot Mega Kangaskhan the only mega Pokemon on my team I wanted to focus my Pokemon team with one mega Tyranitar I guess could have been a mega but I always just like having one mega Pokemon on my team or two in some cases but Usually one is enough for me. So we have Mega Kangaskhan with the Kangaskhan Knight because you obviously need that in order to Mega Ball. Its ability is Scrappy which allows you to hit uh, Ghost types with normal Fighting type moves and then it switches to Parental Bond. Actually Scrappy was actually a pretty good ability picking out Gengars and Edgy Slash which are actually getting more popular. With the moves Return, Power Up, Sucker Punch, and Fake Out. Now, there are a lot of things I could go over Mega Kangaskhan. Plus 2 Kangaskhan is very scary, obviously. Um, I went for Return over Double Edge because I really didn't like how the recoil... Although, although it can take out stuff like Rotoms really easily. I just wasn't a fan of losing hit points. Power Punch. I could have went for Hammer, but I don't know. I feel like Power Punch just gave me some gains. It really let Kangaskhan set up 
Sucker Punch. It actually really helped me because Speed Ties, I'm not a fan of. And Sucker Punch just allowed me to hit like Salamance because Choice Scarf is so popular. And KO's uh, weakened Salamance already. And Fake Ash just for support. I probably should have substituted Protect for Sucker Punch. But I actually didn't need Protect at all, to be honest. With uh, 4 HP, 252 attack, and 252 speed, Jolly nature. I went for Jolly because Adamant isn't really necessary. Well, no. Actually, Adamant's pretty good, but I always lose speed ties. My luck isn't that good in VDC. So, I at least want to outspeed Adamant Kangaskhan. That was the goal. To outspeed uh, modest Charizards and stuff like that. Next we have Scissor War. Actually, it's an uncommon Pokemon VDC now since it lost Bug Bite and Willow is, is just so popular now. I decided to give Scissor a chance because it actually goes well with my team with a Lumberry. Lumberry is actually a really good item on Scizor since Steel Gem is no longer in this game. I actually preferred Bug Gem, but anyway, ability. Technician, the only ability a scissor needs with X scissor, bullet a punch, sword stance, and protect. And I went for a bulky version of scissor because I felt like it didn't need that much attack. I went with 236 HP, 164 attack EVs, 20 defense EVs, and 88 uh, special defense EVs. I don't think speed is important on a scissor because it already has priority. So that's pretty much re my reason. And here is a star. Actually, that should be level 50, but oh well. Amoongus. Amoongus was pretty much. Actually, he was supposed to be like one of. The best Pokemon on my team, Rage Powdering, so I can set up with my other Pokemon and do heavy damage. But I only used him in 10 games. And whenever I brought Among Us, it actually won me those games. But since there are like Pokemon like Talonflame and Charizard Y that people keep sending out, I never really got to bring Among Us that much. Which is a shame, but... If did really well, especially against a few Trick Room teams I saw. Anyway, I gave it Black Sludge to recover health at, because my Sandstorm would like drain away its HP, so Black Sludge would counter that. Regenerator. Um, I wasn't a fan of uh, Effect Spore. Only a 10% chance, and I don't know, there were some stats I didn't really like, like Poison it could get. And Poison was pretty much useless, so I went with Regenerator. Giga Drain, Rage Powder, Spore and Protect, Standard Moveset. And I went for an EV spread of 252 HP, 84 Defense, and 172 Special Defense, Calm Nature. I actually didn't have 31 Speed Ivies. Um, I don't know. I kept switching my Moonguses. I had a bunch of other Moonguses, but this is the one I usually brought into the game. And it's not really that EV'd well. Because it can take, like, Life Orb, Brave Bird from uh, Talonflame. But I really like its special defense. It can really stall out, like, Rotom Wash. Anyway. Lastly, I consider this the Pokemon that is was the worst addition to my team, to be honest. Azumarill. Citrus Berry, huge power with Aqua Jet, Belly Drum, Play Rough, and Protect. Now you might be wondering, Belly Drum is so good. Why would you consider it the worst member on your team? I'll tell you why. Number one, if you can't see its base stat... Its speed is slow. Even though it has priority, I mean, it really doesn't help. 
Um, you'll most likely see other Pokemon KOing Azumarill before it can get a Belly Drum. And even with Amoongus, it's just not that helpful, especially if it's a Charizard Y and Venusaur lead. And, I don't know, I only got to use Belly Drum twice. And whenever I used Amoongus, I mean Azumarill, it kept dying. Because it, Mega Kangaskhan just kept killing it, and Braper, Talonflame. Also, there were quick guards, like from Mian Xiao and um, Talonflame, so I really couldn't hit any Pokemon with it. But he did win me like three games, I think. But he was just a Pokemon I could never really use. You could use him more effect effectively, like with um, Maynetric. Maynetric would actually work well with a Zoom Rail. But, I just never found it useful. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed um, seeing my team for uh, number one in the USA special rated battle spot. It was mostly a standard team. I mean, I had three standard Pokemon. But... It actually worked really well because I could pair up any Pokemon I wanted, any leads. I am I actually usually lead with Tyranitar and Mega Kangaskhan. Sometimes I'll lead with Ta they're just I can lead with anybody to be honest, but the most I led with was probably Mega Kangaskhan and Tyranitar. Just for power punch and dragon dance. It can really scare an opponent easily. And yeah. Remember, number one, you can use this team because I found a better team already. I'll be testing that soon to see if I can keep my number one position. Most likely, likely not. I'm pretty busy. But you can check out my new stream channel. Brand new, actually. I made it a few weeks ago, but I never really used it because I've been testing so yeah, I'll put a link in the description. You can check out my stream channel. I'll probably be streaming starting next week. And yeah, definitely check out. I'll definitely be doing more VDC videos and single Pokemon analysis. So be sure to subscribe, like, comment. Any questions, just send it to me. I'll try to reply. And yeah, I'll definitely be doing more VTC because I've been really into it. And I'm, o I'm still only a senior. Not a master player yet, but I'll get there. Anyway, be sure to subscribe. Later.